from the Library of Congress in Washington, D.C. Discouragement, fear, failure. Only a few years ago, these stalked the nation. Depression haunted America. We found the way to better times. Today, depression is a fading memory. Millions of men and women have found employment and with it confidence and hope. has removed a vast army from relief rolls. It revived lagging industry, restored morale, and renewed courage. In a program which covers the entire nation, New York takes an important place. One of the permanent improvements being made under the works program is the construction of the huge Loudonville Reservoir at Albany. Part of an extensive waterworks system for the state capital, this great storage basin will hold 93 million gallons of water, enough to supply the city during any emergency. The Loudonville project will more than double Albany's water supply, holding in reserve an adequate supply of water to cover any emergency which might arise. Hundreds of skilled and unskilled workers have been removed from relief rolls to take part in the construction of this reservoir, which is one of many important projects underway within the borders of the Empire State. Do it when completed will carry water to all parts of the city from the new reservoir. In Buffalo, the Clearwater Reservoir is being constructed beneath the park and the new Best Street Stadium, seating 60,000, nears completion. The city of Syracuse, for years menaced by an encircling open sewer, will be protected by a modern drainage system which is now under construction. The Rochester Armory and scores of other schools and public buildings, such as the Rush Town Hall, are being constructed or improved under the works program. In nearly every community of the state, employment is provided for women in sewing rooms, where clothes are made from surplus commodities for distribution to needy families. Six to five nursery schools for the children of needy parents have been established under the direct supervision of the State Department of Education. Here, future citizens are provided with hot meals, safe play facilities, and excellent preschool training under competent instructors removed from relief rolls. These nursery schools are part of a broad educational program in which WPA has aided both children and adults. In Buffalo, a traveling marionette theater has become an extremely popular project. Performances given by request at public schools and institutions have brought entertainment and instruction to more than two million children through the reenactment of historical episodes. The marionette theater finds its most enthusiastic audience at the crippled children's home in Buffalo, where the applause of the youngsters is echoed by physicians and nurses who consider the marionettes excellent medicine. This is a federal theater project. Under the works program, artists, actors, writers, and musicians contribute their share to the cultural development of the community. The architectural merit of the impressive buildings of the United States Military Academy at West Point has been enhanced by a federal art project which has received high praise. In the spacious dining hall, one entire wall has been decorated with a mural painting depicting great military figures of history and the battles in which they won fame.
Stretching for many miles along the west bank of the beautiful Hudson River, the Palisades Interstate Park offers practically every sort of recreational facility. Completely equipped bathhouses have been constructed convenient to the excellent beaches. All improvements are planned to add to the park's natural beauty. Dedicated to the founder of Palisades Park is a five-mile scenic drive leading to the Perkins Memorial Tower. The park administration building is also being constructed by WPA. At Bathpage State Park, a new clubhouse has recently been completed. And for the enjoyment of golfers, four 18-hole courses have been provided. Membership in an expensive club is no longer necessary for local devotees of the royal and ancient sport. An important part of the Bureau of Criminal Investigation of the New York State Police is this laboratory in which science is brought to bear on the apprehension of criminals. WPA is helping in this vitally important work by supplying trained laboratory technicians and clerical workers. The reports of the cases which the laboratory has helped to solve make a thrilling omnibus of true detective stories. Stories like that of the Waterford safe cracker. This case started early one Sunday morning. Good morning, Sergeant. Sit down. What have you got on the Waterford safe case? Not a great deal, sir. Looks like an inside job. Although there weren't any fingerprints, we've got some good tire prints made in the alley after the rain. I've had casts and measurements made and sent them to the lab. Good. Let's see what they say about them. Connect me with Dr. Kirschberg, please. Good morning, Doctor. Have you checked those tire prints yet? Yes, uh, the report just came to my desk. Uh, the rear tires are practically new. The front, slight pattern on the left, no pattern on the right. Thank you, Doctor. You better get copies of that report and check all the cars of the company's employees. That's a start, anyway. Yes, sir. Are you Miss Mary Halstead? Yes, I am. You're employed as a stenographer in the Lyceum? Yes. I'm investigating the burglary that was committed there Sunday. Mm -hmm. Do you own a car? Yes, that's it over there. Is that the only car in the family? Yes. Well, that's all I want to know. Sorry I bothered you. Do you own a car? I don't see where it's any business of yours. Take a look at my garage, Joe. Yes, Sergeant. I check with the lab report, Sergeant. I think you'd better come with me. The evidence of the tire prints is sufficient to hold this suspect for questioning. As part of the examination, the material from under his fingernails and his clothing are sent to the laboratory. In the laboratory, the scrapings from the suspect's nails are placed under a microscope. Examination reveals traces of putty which was used to seal the hole in which the explosive was placed. Under a comparison microscope, the putty under the nails and traces of putty from the safe door are compared. They are identical. In the meantime, the suspect's clothes have been gone over with a vacuum cleaner and a magnet, which picks up fine steel filings from the safe door. His coat is placed under an ultraviolet light, and immediately two stains become visible on the fabric. Pieces of each stain are given numerous chemical tests. The first stain is of no consequence. It proves to be gravy. But the second stain clinches the case. It is nitric acid, the basic ingredient of the explosive used to crack the safe. Under this complete chain of evidence, Brown's alibi soon crumbles. A quick trial, a just sentence, and the Bureau of Criminal Investigation has completed another assignment. Where the Niagara River meets Lake Ontario lies historic Fort Niagara, scene of gallant action under four flags. Built by the French before the French and Indian Wars, the fort has been restored by WPA, and new officers' quarters have been constructed. Here, Canada and the United States signed the Rush Bagot Peace Treaty, commemorated by this monument. Agricultural and dairy products from rural areas are the sustenance of the millions who live in New York's great cities. Milk from upstate farms must travel over hundreds of miles of roads and rails to reach the seaboard markets. 
Few consumers of this important commodity have any idea of the difficulties encountered in the first stage of transportation. Ancient, rutted, and weather-beaten roads have been a serious problem to New York's farmers for many years. Usable for only a small fraction of the year, roads of this type have prevented the farmer from maintaining contact with the world beyond his fence line. As the seasons passed, the roads became worse, isolating the producers of food from the markets where their produce could be turned into cash. Providing an immediate and effective solution for this problem, a vast farm-to-market roads program is being carried out by WPA. 1,100 miles of secondary road and city street improvements have increased the value of property, lowered the cost of transportation, and provided employment for thousands of workers. Included in this program are many projects to safeguard motorists through the widening of roads, construction of overpasses, and elimination of dangerous curves. Modern all-weather roads have brought new life to the farmlands. Access to markets, schools, medical attention, and many other opportunities which the old roads deny. The famous Adirondack region, to which visitors come from all parts of the world for its scenic delights and invigorating climate, is being made more accessible through the construction of roads leading into the wilderness of forest and stream. To those who live the year round in this area, the new roads will bring better mail service and easier communication with nearby towns and cities in all kinds of weather. As the road builders drive on into unopened territory, Employment is provided for hundreds of other workers in the improvement of parks and campsites, the building of bridges, restocking of fishing streams for visiting anglers, and many other projects to develop this playground for the state's many millions. Here, as in all the other projects of the works program, science and manpower are joined in common enterprise. Dynamite, machinery, picks and shovels, and willing hands to carry on the work. thousands from relief rolls in the restored morale of the people of our state, we find assurance that we are building toward a bright future of hope and achievement. And long after depression is forgotten, these permanent improvements will remain as part of a better New York. This has been a presentation of the Library of Congress. Visit us at loc.gov.